Hello everyone on YouTube. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing a lot better. My car is fixed and all that shenanigans. Um, so I just want to say if you are from Huppet Gaming, I just want to let you all know that um, this game and probably a lot of other games that I record from Battlefield, if they're over 15 minutes long, like this one was about 30 minutes long, I'm going to cut it in half. Um, it took like like 15 minutes just to destroy one set because they were defending just so goddamn well. So, I just want to let you, all you Call of Duty happy little boys know, I do not commentate Call of Duty. Too many people commentate COD, and uh, you know, where's the difference? And uh... And so, I'm just hoping that difference will be me. You know? And, though that doesn't mean I won't use clips and skits from Call of Duty. And, uh, yeah, you heard me. I have ideas for skits or shorts, depending on what you call it. My first attempt was a bus stop surprise. Um, the bus stop surprise was basically, um, I used two different things on it for like you know talking wise I did um, what is it, a red versus blue how they do the up and down thing that's horrible I need to work on that and uh, so if you watch that you'll notice that and then I did the other thing that RB and uh, John CJG I mean uh, yeah the guy that does uh, the uh, RB and Chief series I did the thing where you know they just sit there and they don't move their head or whatever but yeah I gotta work on the other one but, you know, my inspiration for the Skits and Shorts were those two. Red vs. Blue, you know, Rooster Teeth's Red vs. Blue, and uh, Arby and Chief. But, uh, so you may have noticed that my videos are not in HD. Um, well, I have a Pinnacle DVR that came with Pinnacle Studio 12. I... I have been messing with the recording settings and rendering settings. So far, the best I can do is record an AVI and render an AVI full screen, full screen DV, which is you know, digital video. Though I promise, within a couple months or less, I should be able to render in HD. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to do this, and I'm gonna have a fun time. So, I record. What I use to uh, for my voiceovers, I can either use the Pinnacle Studio. But I use uh, Audacity. I was I'm not very unknown about it, so you know I'm trying different things and stuff like that. And uh, basically, you know, I just gotta add certain effects to it to make my voice sound good. <laughs> so I'm using my Turtle Beach X11s to record my voice in. I have this uh, Gigware headset for the computer, and um, well, that doesn't really sound that all great. So, I'll only use that if I do uh, live commentaries. And if I do a live commentary, I'll do it on an Xbox Live Arcade game or an Xbox Live Indie game. And, but though, since how little I'm known, I probably would do a live commentary on a game of request if I can regularly get 50 views a video. And also have some activity that meaning comments and likes if I were you know if I were to ask a question would you respond to it you know and like right now my views are my friends that I play with and I'm not sure you know if they have you know opinions about it I'm, I'm sure they do but they just don't comment about it and my th I, I, my thing is is that if you know more activity on the video the more likely someone's gonna pay attention to it all that sorts of things so if you have anything to say you know for this video or any other videos that you probably might watch um, you know just let me know like or dislike I mean you could say something I mean I, I'm open to let's see to, you know, judgmental, I don't know, I guess, can't really think of it right now, but, I'm really open to it, but if you're gonna say something stupid, I'm not gonna reply to it, 
It's just like if it's if I know something, I'm you know I don't like to be told twice. It's kind of like a pet peeve of mine. So if it's something I think you've I already know, I'm not gonna reply. But I will reply to most comments. I mean, I just want to be in, intuitive with the viewers. I mean, that's you know, that's how a lot of people gain their activity and stuff like that. So, I mean, I want to improve, and I need to know, but I don't know. And that's something I've been stressing on with my other viewers. <laughs> but, you know, I also want to be different from everyone else, you know? I mean, who likes to conform? I sure as hell don't. Call of Duty gets boring. I mean, it's fun sometimes, but it's kind of boring. I mean... One over three. I saw the Spec Ops. I mean, shit, that game looks like a lot of. I mean, Spec Ops looks like a lot of fun. I might actually do um, Modern Warfare three commentaries because you know it's not fucking Black Ops, and you know they're you know Robert Bowling. I don't know Infinity War and all that. I guess they're listening to this community, but I don't know. I'm not gonna probably do Modern Warfare three until like a month or two after it's out, and I hear some, you know, I watch some commentaries on other people. So, like, things I want to do with the game, I, games I play, like, I want to bring a different perspective um, about the games that I decide to play. Um, some to a lot of you wouldn't or wouldn't, won't play Homefront because of its graphics. That's something I've heard a lot from a lot of people. Though, when you, pl like, for me, when I play the multiplayer, I mean, I'm, I'm, a pr I'm not, you know, that judge judgmental about a game, you know, I'll just play it for my own experience. I mean, that's who I am as a gamer. So, I mean, when I play the multiplayer, the freaking graphics thing has gone out of the roof. I'm like, wow, this game's very fluent. It's fun to play. I mean, you know, the demo gives you up to level 5, you know, so you don't have that much option or real insight to really buy the game, but the game, the multiplayer is fun itself. The campaign, though, that's the other thing. That game, uh, the campaign, four, I beat it in four and a half hours or less on normal. It's very kind of cheesy. It's a good concept, but it's very cheesy. <laughs> so, and the other thing is, like, the other game, Halo Reach, like, uh, you know, the reticle bloom is a downfall for some of you, but, in my opinion, the reticle bloom depicts the bad players from the good players. I mean, those who can control their firing will live on to tell another story. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna dominate the game, those who can fire their shots, you know, the best way they can, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know? Alright? You know, you get it? Alright? You know, I want to be funny, but, you know, I guess I can't. But, uh, yeah. Right here, I'm, you know, waiting for, well, I was waiting for a helicopter. I thought it would spawn, but it, you know, it didn't. It didn't spawn. But, you know, that's all, it's all cool. I'll just, uh, you know. I'm playing as the medic right now. It's, uh,. I'm just like, you know, working on my, you know, watch guns get kills and stuff, and then this nade kind of takes my health down, and then this is just awesome. Like, dude, kill me, and then boom, ran him over. <laughs> Told my teammate. So, you know, Dex, that, like, this is an example how I want to present my games and stuff like that. You know, I want to, I want to be, a re you know, I want to, I want to, I can't say it. I don't want to, I, wanna, eh, I can't say it again. I want uh, I really can't say it. Wow, this is horrible commentating. All right, so you know, like this is how I want to represent myself as a commentator. You know, I want to be different. I want to have you know those who do. You know, I've played this game for like a month. I mean, not a month, but like five months. You know, they know a lot about the game. But you know, this is this is how I'm gonna play it, and this is how I'm gonna tell you how I play it. And, you know, something. Um, in my last Battlefield commentary was Port Valdez, and I explained, um, you know, what I do with the assault class. If I'm playing by myself, or if no one else is, you know, I got the assault class on, um, I will turn that assault class on, 
I will put some, you know, the grenade, um, special, the spec, specialization, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, put the grenade ammo thing up, so I get, you know, shoot, I can shoot more grenades instead of reloading and stuff, and I put smoke on, I use the smoke for, uh, cover and distraction and stuff like that, and, uh, this MCOM was the diff, the most, the most difficult one to take out, they were just, all of them were all in it, and you know, it felt like me and my my squad, which was me and two other guys, and then this random you know, didn't talk. So we're just trying to get this thing taken down, and it was just a bitch. I mean, we were defending the last round, and they they worked us good up until like the last one, and we held damn near good, and we won. And so. We we got them good and oh god, bunch of British people, I swear, like a bunch of British people just love this, love to be dicks in this game. They can fly helicopters like a champ. I mean, if you could fly a helicopter like you know, circling around the thing, I don't know how to do it. I mean, I use the Legacy Southpaw for my flying controls. Yeah, it's the best sort of a deal you can do, in my opinion, to fly. But, uh, yeah, those British people, man. I mean, I'm uh, not that really hate on you guys, but some of you young folk are really assholes. <laughs> I hate playing against you guys. Well, no, I don't hate playing against I just dislike playing against you guys. You know, fuck. Like, eight of you in a team, you know, where it's like one of us. Oh, God, I hate it. Like, And then early in the game, it was like four or five of us against like ten of them for like the first MCOM we held it for like I don't know five minutes or something <laughs> it really lasted a good while you know it was a fun time I was sniping for a while I mean I don't do that often and if I snipe I'm gonna play it well I'm not gonna just camp in the back and be a douchebag you know at least I think I was sniping in the beginning a little. I don't remember. <laughs> I better, I better have, unless that was the last round. Probably was the last round I was defending. I had some good snipes and stuff. I was using the GOL. I don't like the M95 as much now because of the accuracy. I take, when I play games, I take accuracy over damage sometimes. And uh, this game, it's kind of like fire rate and accuracy. Yeah, because, I don't know, I guess there's a little lag, latency, sometimes, that I feel. But, uh, yeah, like, one thing that I, like, one other tactic that I do, like, if they're defending too goddamn well, I'm gonna throw some C4 on a, you know, this ATV. Sometimes I call it a mongoose when I'm playing the game, because I'm, you know, it looks like a freaking mongoose. But, uh... I'll throw some C4 on it and get the other guys to throw C4 on it. And uh, charge in, go boom. You know? Go boom. Right here I'm doing my uh, my uh, smoke deal and then this medic takes my ass out. You know, and it's um... The smoke really works. You, I mean, as long as, you know, the other team's not right in front of you and catching you as you uh, reload and shit like that. But other than that, Defend this and get all that, and we destroy it, and we fucking win. We owned them, all right. So those of you who who are from Puppet, let me know how this is for you. Um, please sub. I mean, you know, sub, like, comment. You know, the more shit I do, I mean, the more stuff, you know, more people I get, more stuff I'll do. You know, maybe I'll use some of you to help me out with some of my skits. You know, I could really use that. Um, some skits we'll have to do in Halo and online. It won't be like talking and stuff like that, but that's what it is. Um, if you do sub, I'll let you know more about that later. And uh, thank y'all for uh, watching this commentary. Peace out.